Hi everyone, I'm Melanie from Nova Scotia, Canada, and this is Adventures in Grocery Land. It is December, you can see the tree here behind me in the corner. Uh, we don't have the decorations on yet, but we are getting there. Um, and I just wanted to share a couple thoughts on my upcoming videos and what this video is about. Uh, coming up, you are going to um, see me post uh, of, about how to save money on Christmas stockings. Um, you are going to see me have a video about entertaining on a budget and also um, Christmas dinner on a budget. So those are some upcoming videos. This one is going to focus on something different um, that I have done on and off in the past, but my videos have never really focused on it before, and that is printable coupons. So I do print coupons. Uh, I've been using printable coupons on and off for probably the last 10 years. I go in little phases where I print a lot and use a lot or months will go by and I don't print anything. Um, and that's kind of what's been happening lately. I haven't been doing anything. And I thought, geez, I need to do that. I looked the other day um, and you're going to hear me talk about this uh, later in the video. But the easiest way for me uh, just to kind of see what is out there is to Google printable coupons Canada and just see what comes up in my searches. Um, Printable coupons work great in some places and some stores won't accept them. So it's just kind of um, a 50-50 chance that you take when you go into stores. I have recently used coupons. So within the last two weeks, I've used printable coupons at um, Walmart, uh, No Frills, and I'm going to say Sobeys. So some places accept them, some don't. And I find some cashiers um, are more familiar with them than others. Uh, and so I just find, you know, if someone is unsure, um, give them time to look the coupon over, ensure that it is valid, um, and be nice. It's always best to be nice. And if they decline your coupon, um, just leave. Try again another time. Or, or maybe ask if there's a reason that they're declining the coupon. Um, is it a store policy? Is it because it's printed? Because some stores do have policies against it. So it's good to know who will, who won't. Um, I kind of always hold my breath when I use them. Will they take it? Will they not? And it, it had been a while for me. So I couldn't remember uh, which stores were good about it and which weren't. So I was kind of holding my breath at the stores that I was at. And they did all accept them. So that was wonderful. I was really happy. One more thing I am going to talk about is a current promotion that is on at Sobeys. So the, the special that's on at Sobeys right now is for Scene Points, um, and we will talk about that later. It's something that I absolutely love taking advantage of. I find it really, really easy, um, an easy way to get free points, and which I turn around for free groceries. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Um, check out... My info on coupons, the promo, and then at the end, for anybody who's been following along, you can see um, a few of the things that we've been eating over the past week. Printable coupons isn't really something I have focused on in any of my previous videos. It is something that I do sporadically. I will go on um, a binge of printing coupons regularly, regularly, and using them, and then maybe a few months at a time go by. But it really is something that is beneficial. Uh, I, I was on um, some of the more helpful sites recently. I printed a bunch of coupons. Um, I'm going to explain what I got here, the coupons that I used. What I find for me is because I do it kind of far and few between, the easiest thing is just to Google printable coupons Canada. All kinds of different options come up. Uh, and they take you to links to different sites. And most of these sites um, you need to sign up for to be able to print the coupons. And in turn, the companies want to send you marketing information. I personally don't find that the information sent to me is overwhelming. Um, for the things that I don't want, I simply just delete the emails. I find a couple really um, beneficial ones are save.ca, uh, PNG Good Every Day, uh, websaver.ca, simplyfrugal.ca, and of course, like if there's something in particular that I want, say for example, I want a coupon for Tide, um, I might just Google printable coupon Tide Canada and see what I can get, what comes up. 
So here are some of the coupons that I have printed and you can see they're a variety. Um, and I printed these ones in color, except for this one, just to show. Um, just for visual purposes, most of the time, I print my coupons in the least um, quality that I can to save ink. I print them in black and white um, because, of course, this is supposed to save you money, not cost you a bunch of money in ink. So you can see here, Cheez-Its, um, save $1.50, and that's for any Cheez-It, but it shows you that it's the family size pack. Here, Basel, um, save $1.25 on any Basel product. 50 cents off of your next purchase of Doritos, and it tells you that it needs to be between 155 grams and 370 grams. Dips or chewy granola bars. Eggo waffles. Pringles. Now this is for one particular flavor of Pringles. So this is the La Caliente, Los Caliente, the hot ones. This is for Armstrong cheese, and this is also for a particular one. You, prob uh, you can read it here on the bottom. It is um, bacon or lactose-free uh, triple cheddar. So sometimes the coupons are for any brand. Sometimes they're for a particular um, kind exclusively. You do need to know what they say. And these ones are for um, Armstrong. They're like the cheese strings. Um, so I went through and I printed a bunch of coupons. What works for our family is I have an account at every place that I can print a coupon for, and I've also signed the handsome one up for an account because a lot of places limit the quantity of coupons that you can print to one. But sometimes you can get around that when you are going on different coupon sites that have links, um, like here, the, the crackers and the Pringles. Um, I was able to print those, no problem, from two different links they let me print. So the Rice Krispies, uh, the coupon was for $2 off. It was specifically for the 340 gram holiday edition. I got these particular Rice Krispies at Sobeys. They were $4.50. So I got them for $2.50 after the coupon. And you'll see these come again in one of my um, upcoming videos on entertaining on a dime. The Townhouse Crackers, uh, I wasn't particularly looking for these, but I was in a store and I noticed that this one brand only or one flavor only, the Italian herb, were on sale for $2. None of the other ones were on special. So it was an in-store special in that store. And I thought, mm, I have coupons for this in my purse. So I dug through and I actually had coupons for $1 off. Um, and it was any flavor of townhouse it just had to be between certain grams between this and this uh, so i was actually able to get these two boxes for a dollar each and the pringles again these were for any um any flavor of pringles the pringles happened to be on sale at walmart two for four dollars and I had 50 cent off coupons, so I was able to get the Pringles for $1.50. So the Pringles you'll see coming up in my making a stocking on a dime video. And the crackers, of course, will be entertaining on a budget. So I'm thoughtful about what coupons I print. I simply wouldn't print coupons for items that I would never use. Um, and you, you have to be sensible too, like how much are you going to buy? Most of the coupons have an expiration date. Like this one um, expires in 2023, uh, January 2nd. And some of them have a much closer expiration date, like this one, uh, December 17th, 2022. So it's always good to be mindful uh, when you're printing of whether realistically you think you're going to be able to use the coupons uh, before the expiration date. But I find this is a really helpful way uh, to manage prices and to manage my budget and I've kind of gotten away from it for a little bit and it's something that I definitely need to be more aware of because with these items right here um, I saved five dollars so that's nothing to sneeze at something else I particularly watch for is when Sobeys has a promotion on that if you buy a certain amount of Sobeys gift cards you get a particular dollar value of scene points back. Now it used to be air miles, 
um, but they've switched over to the scene program. So a thousand scene points is the equivalent of $10 free of groceries at Sobeys. So this week they had a promotion on that if you purchase $200 worth of Sobeys gift cards, they give you a thousand scene points. So this is always beneficial to me uh, because as you can see here on the side, there are tons of stores where you can use Sobeys gift cards. So Sobeys, Foodland, Fresh Co, Lawton, Safeway, IGA, Thrifty Foods, Needs, and the most important one to me, Sobeys Fast Fuel. So gas is pretty expensive. $200, unfortunately, doesn't go that far when you're filling up a couple vehicles you're driving to work every day. So for me, that is an easy, easy way uh, to get some free points. So $200 worth of Sobeys gift cards. So it's actually just $200 on this gift card here. Um, I got the thousand bonus points right away, showed um, on the receipt. And then I will just use this um, over the next couple weeks buying uh, gas, number one. And a fill up now is costing us anywhere between 70 and 90 dollars uh, depending on how low your tank actually is before you fill up so this this doesn't actually get you that far um, and also I'll use it when I'm buying groceries so I think this is a win-win uh, I I've been doing this um, since they've had it with the air miles program it is something that works for me um, it might not work for everybody but it, it is certainly something uh, to think about Lunch is sandwiches, uh, discount buns, and discount cold cuts. Back in the summer, I made a large batch of seafood chowder. We had company visiting, and it was really large, like crazy amount. And so I froze two small packages. So this is a medium freezer bag. Two small packages of the mix um, before any of the cream went in. And I just picked up this cream at Walmart. It was $2.38. Uh, so we are going to enjoy seafood chowder tonight. Delicious chowder. And we made some little mini cornbreads to go with it. We're actively trying to eat down some of the items that we have in the freezer um, and the pantry. And we found these little fish cakes. Um, they're actually shrimp cakes. I think they were two for $10 when I got them. And they were both 50% off, so I got them for $2.50. So we are gonna have that tonight for supper. We decided to go with shrimp cakes and eggs and spinach salad i did buy the spinach this week uh, it was 3.99 for a package of cooking spinach i find that the leaves are a bit bigger um, but it's always a better value if nothing is on sale yeah so 3.99 for a large package we are working at using up items that we already have we're going to have some smoothies today uh, for the liquid i am using cranberry cocktail um, that I had a personal offer for PC Optimum, my personal card holder number for $1.99. And so I bought um, a variety of different juices when that offer was available to me. Uh, these little Greek yogurt cups, um, I got these on clearance for $2. Um, and so we're using those up. And these raspberries have probably been in the freezer uh, for two years, and I just used the last of them in there. And there's also a banana. Sandwiches for lunch again today. We cooked one of the whole chickens that we had in the freezer. We did it rotisserie style. So we're having mashed potatoes, peas, chicken, gravy, and we had leftover cauliflower from one of our previous meals this week. 
more ways to use up my 50% off buns, which I'm not eating as fast as what I thought I would. I flipped the buns inside out. I buttered the inside part and I made grilled cheese with them. Yum. We were out of our local area today, so I did a quick search on the flash food app near where we were going, and this little gem came up. It was $5. Now, my local flash food normally pack in a box, so this is more like a crate, and I see we got um, a bunch of celery, uh, one lime, two yellow peppers, a bunch of snow peas, uh, cherry tomatoes, some carrots, two clementines, um, some tomatoes, and a large tomato. Pretty, pretty exciting for five dollars. Here we have Maple Leaf Top, top, top Dog Less Salt Wieners, $1.94 a pack. And I have coupons, buy two and save three dollars. So I am going to get two packs of uh, wieners for a dollar and right beside them are just the regular um, maple leaf top dogs just the original on for $2.94 $1.94 for no salt and I just um, had people here right beside me and they were deciding between the two and they went for the more expensive ones which I think is a little odd huh. we cooked one of the chickens that we had in the freezer we had it as rotisserie chicken the other night for supper. We stripped all of the meat off of the bird after we had it for supper that night. Uh, I'm going to use this here in the bowl to make chicken salad. In the bag, we are going to use this to make chicken fried rice. And here, the leftovers on this lid, we are going to use to make chicken noodle soup. And you can see here, I am boiling the bones, the skin, um, the wings, and I am gonna use the broth for that to make my chicken soup. In the spirit of using up um, as much as we can, this is chicken salad. I made it with pickles, a little bit of red peppers diced up in it, and mayo. And these cheese wraps, I we have had these for a long time. Um, they were 50% off and they were on sale for clearance, I think, when I got them. I don't remember exactly what I paid for them, but I'm going to think maybe around $3. Um, we've just had them for a long time, so we took them out. Um, we are thawing them and we are going to have chicken wraps on cheese. Sounds interesting. Here is the final wraps. This one was being difficult. It would not stay closed. I had to flip it over. <laughs> but I added spinach and some tomatoes. In here I have the broth, the carrots out of my fast flash food box. There were five plus I used three extra carrots. I used a bunch of celery out of the flash food box, but there's still some left. Um, I used half an onion. I am contemplating putting the other half of the onion in, and I also used some rotini. So this will cook up and give us a delicious chicken noodle soup. Chicken noodle soup for lunch today. Tonight we are having chicken fried rice, a beef and broccoli kind of stir fry, and egg rolls using up a lot of stuff that we already had. Um, the chicken is still leftover chicken from the whole chicken that we cooked. Uh, the beef for the beef and broccoli was just a cheap clearance steak that we had in the freezer. Um, everything just left over. We, again, no money spent. Everything just out of the freezer. Chicken fried rice, beef and broccoli, and one egg roll split between us. Leftovers for supper tonight. Maybe printable coupons is something that you've been doing for years. Um, and if not, and this was some information that is new to you, good luck. And hopefully you'll get some savings in the future. Thanks for watching. Um, I hope that you have a great week and especially um, good holidays if you're not following along any of the other videos.